Hi, in this video I'll be demonstrating how to check the oil level in your generator. In front of me I have three different generators and I will show you how I check the oil level on each one. I'll then also show you how to top up the oil on these types of generators. When checking the oil level, make sure that the generator has been off for at least one hour. I make sure that the generator is on a level surface, so it is level in that orientation as well as that orientation. On the front of the generator, there's a little knob here. I can unscrew this to check the oil level. Sometimes it's quite dirty around this knob, so what I do is I just wipe it before I unscrew it. Right, now I unscrew this filler knob and unfortunately straight away you can see that there's oil dripping out of the unit. That means that this unit was actually overfilled. Now on this uh, filler knob notice there is a dipstick here. Now at the moment it is all immersed in the oil. As you can see there's oil all over and the reason for that is that the uh, generator has been overfilled with oil because if you look closely and I will show it to you now there's an H there and an L there. So I'm going to clean this dipstick and over there there's an L and right at the top there there's an H. So your generator should be somewhere near the H. So say for example your dipstick shows the oil like that, that would mean your generator needs a top up that is too low. You would want your oil somewhere past the halfway mark. It doesn't have to be right at the H, but it shouldn't be below the halfway point. So if your dipstick looked like that, it would be sufficient. If your dipstick had the oil up to about here, that would mean your generator is actually full with oil. You would not need to top it up because the oil is way above the halfway mark. However, if it looked like that, you should consider topping it up until the oil level gets to about here. Do not overfill the oil like was done with this generator. It puts more pressure on the seals and you run the risk of blowing the crankshaft seal and the crankcase gasket. If your oil is black like this or dark like this, consider doing an oil change. If the oil in your generator has been overfilled, what you can do to solve this problem is to just tip the generator a little bit to get some of that oil out. So what I'm doing is I'm just tipping it a bit and there you can see some of the oil coming out. And now I'm just going to wipe this. Right, so to measure the oil level I clean the dipstick, I clean the surface, I clean around here so there's no sediment that will go back in the, the filler hole. I rotate this and then I rotate it back. And there's the measurement. Now the generator is no longer over full. You can see that it is quite close to the H but there is still a little bit of space there. I would not fill this up anymore. It is considered full already. Now I return the dipstick filler knob. Right, I'm going to demonstrate it on this larger generator. I'm just cleaning the area. I'm now going to unscrew the filler knob and inspect the dipstick. Now in this case it is completely empty, it is bone dry, look at that, there is no oil here so I need to top this up. What I'm going to do is I first clean the area here, I take my funnel, I place it like that and I now need to select the correct oil. Please consult your manufacturer's guidelines for the type of oil. The generator I'm working with requires an SAE 30 oil. Some people prefer to put high performance oils in. Right, while the generator is on a horizontal surface, I then fill up the oil tank using this funnel. I know the oil has reached its maximum when it starts to drip out over here. On some smaller generators, it's easier to use a pipe in order to fill the oil so the oil doesn't spill out the funnel. If you don't want to overfill it and waste the oil, what you can do is periodically check the level. So I can actually see the oil building up in this tube here. So I can take the knob and screw it in here and do a preliminary measurement so that I don't overfill the oil and waste it. So at the moment it still requires more oil because it is still below the L level. Right, now I'm going to retake the oil measurement. Just be careful not to cross thread this, it should go in very easily. I get it till it's fairly tight and then I open it. Alright, so there is the oil level, it is fresh oil so it might be a bit difficult to see but it's sitting just about there which is fine, it is actually more on the full side so I'm going to now return this oil filler knob 
and the generator is now full. I turn this clockwise, I make it quite tight, not very tight. On some generators you might find that only a certain part of the dipstick is graduated. So what you'd want to do is fill up the oil up to close to the top of the graduated scale. Thanks for watching and cheers.